Okay, welcome back to Getting Sober dot 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 again. My name is Jay, and um, the first thing we're gonna do is play a scavenger hunt. <laughs> Can you find my one silver hair? I'll give you a hint, it's above my chest. Where is it? Right there, you see it? I saw it when I was getting ready to record this episode. Every now, every, every few weeks I'll see it. I'm like, oh, there's my one hair. There's my one silver hair. But um, I've got plenty in the beard. Uh-oh. And now I'm out of focus. <laughs> Welcome back. How you doing? Comment below. Um, as always, I want to thank you all for uh, the emails that you send me and for all the comments below and for subscribing and for liking the video. It is a blast to see new updates and new notif notifications every day. So um, thank you for that. It really does help me get through my very, very, very sober days. Um, also, too, I wanted to make an announcement yesterday. Um, I made episode, I think, 66. So this is, I believe, then 67. And um, so I talked about um, people that were wanting to reach out to me or were wanting to um, be patrons to this channel and um, donate to the channel. So um, I talked about how I wasn't able to set up a Getting Sober Venmo, um, but I did today. They actually randomly emailed me. <laughs> they randomly emailed me today and said I could set up a business account. So I did. Um, so now if you want to send uh, any payments to help support this channel, um, you could send it to my Venmo, which is now getting sober again. All one word. How about that? And then also too, if you ever want to email me, the email address is getting sober again at gmail.com. So pretty simple, huh? And um, so that's that. So let's talk about today's topic. And um, today we're going to talk about a couple of things. Um, I want to talk about how alcohol basically, ru in my opinion, alcohol uh, ruined my attention span. While I was drinking, I should preface. If you agree, comment below. Um, so what I mean by that is like with alcohol, it's like one of the dangerous parts about alcohol is that you could do it, you can consume alcohol all day long. That's what makes it like pretty, ex a really expensive habit. And you would think like, if we just called all drugs drugs, right? If we said that tobacco is drugs and alcohol is drugs, I went ahead and paused the video to bring up Aspen Ridge Recovery's resources about the cost of alcohol and tobacco, cocaine, meth, opiates, benzos, things like that. So go ahead and take a peek at the video on the screen if you're just listening and you can pause it wherever you want to to see what the real cost is of maintaining a habit. back to the video in three, two, one. If we look at how much money that we would spend a day on drugs, you might think like, well, a heroin addict spends however much they spend on heroin. I have no idea how much heroin costs or how much you know somebody would spend on cocaine or meth or whatever to treat their daily habit, right? Um, but some of those drugs are pretty inexpensive as far as I know, though you'd say like, well, if you keep doing them, of course it'll cost more money. But like the one thing that we do, the one thing that we do do is uh, drink a lot. And we could drink for, we could have a little bit of Baileys for breakfast. I hope it might be a trigger warning. Trigger warning. <laughs> you might, you could have a little bit of Bailey in your coffee. I used to do like tequila in my coffee. Oddly, it was pretty, It was, well, I mean, it still tastes like shit. Now let's, let's cut, <laughs> let's, let's just point that out real quick. Alcohol tastes like shit. If you agree with that, comment below. <laughs> Nobody in their right mind, whoever tasted alcohol the first time was just like, yep. I'm never going back to regular drinks ever again. This is delicious. <laughs> I just said nobody, nobody ever said that. The first time that you had liquor, I, I think I remember <laughs> the first time I had, uh, I had Jack Daniels. I went to a concert. This is when I lived in Columbus, Ohio. I was with my buddy, um, another artist, a little bit older than me. And uh, he, I think he's given up drinking since then, but um, not since that day, but like, uh, at any rate, he drank Jack Daniels. And I had not had really any experience. I was, you know, in my household growing up, I had rum. Um, not me personally, but my parents, their drink of choice was rum. I remember, you know, the bats on the bottle, the, the Bacardi, right? Um, in Puerto Rico, there are a lot of bats. I don't know if you knew that. It's actually awesome. I went to Puerto Rico not too long ago, right before Hurricane Rhea, randomly, casually walking through San Juan, down the brick streets, the, the most beautiful homes and houses and businesses. And there was just a tree on the sidewalk and um, a 
bunch of bats, bun approximately one shitload of bats flew out <laughs> of the tree. And they were just flying all over the place. They're flying, they're swooping down, and I wasn't afraid. I like to do this little clicking sound. This is my uh, cat trick, clicking sound. People ask me if this is a coke nail. It's not, it's a uh, picking stuff out of my teeth nail. I had braces when I was a kid. But um, so I would do that and I would aim it towards the bats and they would come and follow my hands. And um, I, I do that sometimes here if I ever do see a bat. So there's a little, there's your uh, your value for the day. How to uh, trick bats. <laughs> but um, let's get back to the point if I can remember what it was. Your attention span, look at that. See, since now I don't drink anymore, <laughs> I have more of an attention span. Time out, <laughs> I forgot to finish the story about my buddy and the Jack Daniels. The first time he gave me a shot of Jack Daniels, we were at a concert and I held the Jack Daniels in my mouth for like almost a whole minute because I was turned off by how terrible it tasted. Finally, I forced myself to swallow it and then I gagged with my tongue sticking out of my mouth and almost threw up at the concert. <laughs> End of story. Well, with alcohol, um, we can have alcohol with breakfast. We can have alcohol with lunch. We can have alcohol with dinner. And then, um, sorry, I just took a shower. My nose is itchy. My nose is always itchy after I take a shower. Um, and we can have alcohol after dinner all the way until we go to bed. And if you've done that, breakfast, lunch, dinner, all the way till you go to sleep, comment below. Um, I've definitely done that, so guilty. And um, it wasn't often. I usually wasn't like, a, I, I, I rarely, I wanted to seize the day because I felt guilty about like drinking the night before, right? I was stuck in that pattern, that loop of like, oh, I feel I should have done that last night. Let me go to the gym and exercise and whatever. I have to be a productive citizen. And then you go and you be a productive citizen at work and you're just like, I'm done being a productive citizen. Time to get trashed. <laughs> and then you go get trashed and you're like, I don't want to think about my life or my wife or my kids or, you know, my, I didn't get my that degree I wanted. Or I can't get a degree because I can't get the job. I, I can't get the job I want because I don't have a degree. And it's a vicious cycle. And then uh, you just want to go shh, 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 shh. alcohol. That's what all, all that's all alcohol wants to do is just go shh, shh, shh. Forget about that degree. I'm here. I'm all you need, right? And that's how it's uh, that's how it was for me. I'm guessing that's probably how it was for you. It was like that. That's what alcohol did for me. It was just like shh, shh, shh. no, 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 no. That's tomorrow. Right now, what what are we gonna do today? What are you gonna comp? You're not gonna get a degree today. Don't even worry about it. It's Thursday. Schools don't even start on Thursdays and it's February, right? So no need, why are you worrying about, why are you worrying about going to school right now? It's not, it's not school time. Uh, could be, I guess, if you're on quarters or semesters, that's not the point, <laughs> stop judging me. <laughs> but uh, so with alcohol though, we can spend a lot of money during the day. And when, you know, from a drinking session, going to the bar, you get, you get in that groove, you get into that, uh, you start vibing, you catch that, that drunk wave and you, you're able to ride that little drunk wave with your friends and your bar friends are there and like they, and if they buy, you buy somebody a shot, you know, you get to that point, you get like, you just sit back, you see somebody, you buy them a shot. Hey, bartender, put their, put a, get us, a, excuse me, get around, get us around the shots. That's on me. Then you're talking, you're jiving, you're catching up with their shitty day and they're catching up with your shitty day. And then, uh, you know, those shots are gone. It's been like, I don't know, 20 minutes. And then it's their turn, they buy you a shot and then you're already drinking some more and then somebody else gets you and then somebody else joins and then three, uh, let's do three shots, let's do three of them. Three upon my tap, put them on my tap. You know, and then you go through that whole cycle and then you're able to ride that wave and you feel great um, until you don't, right? And then until, for me, it was always just like, well, now I need to get home. I went, I fell off that wave and I'm crashing hard. <laughs> I need to get, I need to do something. I need to get out of here. And a lot of Irish goodbyes. So if you're one of those people, I'm um, sorry, not sorry for the Irish goodbye. But um, that was, you know, I hated doing that. I was, you know, when it was time to go, I was never like, I, you know, I, there was really no saving face. I felt like I was faced and it was just time to get out of there. I didn't want people to see me drunk um, or hear, you know, I didn't want people to you know, hear me mumbling or watch me stumbling around. I just wanted to get out of there. And um, that was often what I did. I would just, the bar I normally go to has a front door and a back door. And depending on where I thought people were, I'd go out the other door um, and go get food and then go home. So the food then would, have, would add up more cost to my bar tab because I wouldn't have gone to get that midnight burger or whatever it was or the chicken wings or the pizza or the sober me up food mozzarella sticks <laughs> what's your favorite drunk food comment below uh 
But I wouldn't have done all that if um, I hadn't been gotten, if I hadn't gotten drunk. Most of that food, it's like, since I quit drinking, I have not, I haven't gone to the place, the place I normally went to to get food. And it's actually a pretty decent place. I, you know, it's nothing against them. I just kind of not really ready to go back. I don't want, I don't want, you know, I, I'm like, I get the anxiety thinking about being like, hey, because I was there every day. And uh, some of those people are like, the cashiers and stuff are like friends of mine on like, the, on uh, Instagram and stuff. And they follow my artwork and whatever else. And then so, uh, you know, I just don't want to go in there and be like, hey, a long time no see. And I'm like, yeah, I, know, I stopped getting trashed every night. So sorry, your food's good. I just, I don't, I don't feel the need to get a greasy, heavy food every night to save my life. You know, it's like, it's like uh, hamburgers or hospital. Well, you know, please, Jesus, get me through <laughs> to tomorrow with this cheeseburger and fries. Amen. Onion rings. Give me some onion rings, too. But, um, you know, I'm sorry if, you know, again, if you're, I'm triggering you, I'm, you know, I am just trying to be funny, but it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm at a place where I can laugh about it and I hope that you get to that place too. But, um, you know, alcohol, like really, I felt like it really, alcohol really just destroyed uh, my attention span because like when, right before I quit, I remember, so I quit, you know, for in case you're new to the channel. Um, or just, you know, if you're regular and you don't make it through all of my long monologues, <laughs> I, uh, I stopped drinking the day before Halloween which is gonna be another point, which is you don't need a specific day to quit drinking. You know, it doesn't have to be a special occasion, I guess, to quit drinking. And I will make a separate episode about that. But I think a lot of people, you know, wait for, I have talked about um, either New Year's Eve, oh my gosh. They wait for New Year's Eve to um, quit drinking or they wait sometimes a little too long and then they end up getting um, a notification from their doctor that uh, they have some bad news or that they found something or you know whatever the case may be and I feel like I dodged a pretty big bullet when um, after I got decided to get sober I wanted to get checked out and I got checked out and I found some lesions on my liver and it turns out uh, when I got checked up again I got another checkup those uh, two lesions turned into one and they uh, and it's re reduced in size so I feel like I'm Getting better, you know, by the grace of God, um, amen. But, um, you know, so alcohol ruins my attention span or ruined my attention span, I thought, like right before I quit drinking, um, the day before Halloween, a little over four months ago, I was doing stuff like skipping meals, you know? And that's gonna be another episode. If you're interested in this episode, uh, which is gonna be signs that you're drinking too much, <laughs> it'll be like some you know, that or like bad habits of uh, you know alcoholism. Comment below if you're interested in that episode. I'm actually I'm, I'm writing that one you know now as we speak. Not well, not as we speak. I'm trying to make sure I don't get another phone call that's gonna interrupt this episode as we speak. But um, so before um, I quit drinking, I was skipping meals and. Um, it was getting to the point where I was having to tell myself, go, just go get a meal first. Like I would skip work, or I'm sorry, I would go to work and um, I rarely skipped work, I wasn't that bad. But I'd go to work and then um, after work, I would go straight to the bar. And then that would be it. So I, they, and I would just be at the bar drinking, you know, they had, they didn't serve food there, they had chips. So I would like maybe have chips, some greasy, you know, some greasy carbs. And then um, I would uh, sometimes have to remind myself, it was getting so bad that I'd have to remind myself, hey, go get some food. So at least have that. Because I was getting to the point where like, I would go to the bar and I would drink. And then I would start to feel like, you know, those hunger pangs and I'd be like, uh, I should do something about this, but I'm so impatient. And my attention span is trash that I don't want to call, I don't even want to take the convenience of picking up my phone and calling an order to this business, which is only four businesses down from where I'm at currently. All I have to do is call them like, hey, cheeseburger and fries for Jay. And then have pick it up in 15 minutes. Like I was just so like my attention span, like I was just, I had no patience. Um, so maybe my attention span and my patience were trash uh, while I was drinking and that was troublesome because I was, just, I was just skipping normal stuff. I was like, I, was, I wasn't being as safe as I normally was. You know, even though I was like binge drinking um, basically every day, I was still doing things like taking my vitamins and overly hydrating. You know, I was drinking at least like 100 ounces of water a day 
and uh, trying to, and still going to the gym and stuff like that. But then it was like, I was just getting to the point where it's like my body was just like, not interested in food, give me alcohol. That was kind of where I was at. And, and I knew that that was a, a troublesome sign for me because I had never really been like that. And all the years, all the 18 years or whatever it was that I was drinking, 17 years, which is not like I didn't drink every day. But um, so I drank my drinking career, if you want to call it a career, was basically 17 years. And um, in that, I had never found myself at the point where I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to skip food. Now, I will say one of the, you know, one of the signs that you're drinking too much that I did write down for that list is uh, you may have, if you've ever said, if, <laughs> if you've ever said, <laughs> it sounds like a Jeff Foxworthy, uh, you might be a redneck, you might be an alcoholic. But uh, if like one of the signs is um, if you've ever said, I don't want to eat because it's going to mess up my buzz right? That type of thing where, you know, like we know from drinking, if I want to get a buzz, I'm not throwing food down there. I'm not throwing any buffer down there, soaking up some, I don't want any pesky French fries down there, soaking up my booze. And then I'm just going to have to buy more booze. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to buy the food and then buy more booze. That's stupid, right? So that's a sign that you might be an alcoholic <laughs> or they might be drinking too much. So sorry to say it, but you know, guilty. Also guilty. Sorry, not sorry. Hmm. But um, I don't know if you relate to any of this information, comment below. And um, if you find yourself, if you have any other symptoms or any other signs that you might be drinking too much or any relatable information such as this, that alcohol ruins your attention span and ruins your, uh, destroys your patience, comment below. And uh, you know, I know, I've been there. We've all been there. So with that, I'm gonna end today's video. And good luck on your journey. And remember, if you want to donate to this channel, you can Venmo to Getting Sober Again. And if you want to email me, you can write an email to gettingsoberagain at gmail.com. And I will see you in the next video.